Hi, I'm Anthony Davidson, and this is the world's fastest hybrid car, the incredible Toyota TSO30. And I'm one of the lucky drivers that's going to be driving this thing in this year's Le Mans 24 Hours and World Endurance Championship, where we'll be reaching speeds of over 210 miles an hour. But sometimes as a race driver, you want to get away from all the noise and energy of the pit lane, somewhere we can enjoy driving in a much more relaxed kind of way. But I've been spending some time with this. It's my other hybrid car. It's the all new Toyota Auris Hybrid. It looks great from the outside. For me, it ticks all the boxes. It's got room for the family inside and it's economical to run. Over the years, Toyota's cars have been famous for those core values of quality, durability and reliability. But recent new arrivals like the phenomenal GT86 have shown that the company have woken up to the fact that drivers want something more from their machines. Fun. Which brings us to this, the all-new Toyota Auris. Just before we pull away, it's really an eerie feeling. The engine is completely off. We are in EV mode, and I just release the brakes, and away we go in dead silence. It's beautiful. First thing I noticed behind the wheel of this car is it's a much sharper handling car than its predecessor. It turns in really well into the corners and feels comfortable as you push it through the bends. It's just the right weight at slow speed, it's accurate, and I feel just with turning the car, it, yeah, you've got some body roll, but it's just enough. It lets you know you've turned into the corner, but it's not a stiff ride, it's not a back-breaking ride like you seem to get in a lot of cars. The Auris engineering team have focused on weight management, chassis design, clever packaging, and an improved powertrain to achieve a more engaging drive. And you know what? I think it's worked. When you want to put your foot down, here we go. The car really does take off and the EV mode kicks in as well. It gives you everything it's got, just like my race car does. When you put your foot down, the power bar increases, goes through the eco mode, bursts through that and goes into the power mode, which is quite good fun. Now just think about this. I'm driving a mainstream family road car that can offer up to 134 brake horsepower, a 0-60 time in under 11 seconds, and a top speed of over 110 miles an hour, all while delivering class-leading ultra-low emissions of just 87 grams per kilometre of CO2. In this car, you're travelling on in silence, and we can do exactly the same thing in the race car down the pit lane. We come in in pure EV mode and start from the pit box in EV mode as well. So it's funny, the, the similarities, they are there, but obviously in, in quite different ways once you, uh, once you get onto the track, it's all about performance. Whereas here, in this car, it's all about the fuel saving effect. Under the bonnet, you've got a 1.8 litre petrol engine that combines with an electric motor to give you some truly astonishing figures. This car can go over a mile on just EV power alone. Design has clearly been a big priority for Toyota. And this is where the new Auris really scores for me. Just look at this steeply raked windscreen. It really adds to the car's sporty appearance. And as a racing driver, I really appreciate the importance of cutting through the air with minimal fuss. This car also gives you a, a, a nice view of the road uh, all around. You've got a good panoramic view there. And I really particularly like this uh, optional sky view panel that we've got and I think that's really good for the family sitting in the back they've got the light pouring in and it's just a, a nice place to be and for parking as well it makes looking around and pulling out of junctions a lot easier and safer too and that feeling of space doesn't end there in the cabin it's, it goes through to the boot as well 360 litres of boot space isn't messing around and it actually allows me to even fit my mountain bike in there Inside, it's all new soft touch materials, luxury fabrics, and plenty of useful storage with no less than three 12 volt accessory sockets. Perfect for the kids' DVD players. In every single way, it's a class act, and it's better in everything I touch or see in terms of quality. And I'm not just saying that, it's, it's, I'm genuinely surprised by the advancement in the quality of this product. With over 15 years experience of hybrid technology, it's no surprise that that's filtered through from the road car to the race car on track that gives us such an advantage over our competitors. And who knows in the future, what could come our way from the road car industry? Soft touch materials perhaps, that vibration on the steering wheel we have in this thing? Automated parking assist or rear view parking? Now there's a thought. <laughs>